Hi, this is Rabbi Andy Corinne from Temple Emmanuel in Greensboro, North Carolina. Today is the uh, 13th day of the month of Elul, and this is the pearl for today. Uh, this is about forgiveness, and forgiveness, of course, is one of the major themes of this time of the year and the High Holidays. And I just want to share a teaching. You can see the larger text for it. It's connected to this particular video. Uh, but this is a teaching that comes from Rabbi John Rossov from the West Coast, uh, a senior colleague, uh, who taught about forgiveness. And he gave six points. You can read more of the fine points. But he walked through and said, look, forgiveness, first and foremost, is a step-by-step -step process. Mm -hmm. It's really not meant to be a single event or something that happens really quickly. It does take time. Secondly, he said that it's a courageous act of will. It's something that takes a lot of our strength in order to forgive. It's not something that happens when we're at a very vulnerable point. And he actually shares a teaching from Gandhi, Gandhi who taught that the weak can never forgive, but instead forgiveness is an attribute of the strong. We should let that sink in, sink in at this time of the year because it's gonna take our strength. Thirdly, forgiveness, and I'll just say this, requires us to believe in our basic goodness. Look, we do talk about sin at this time of the year, and outside the Jewish community, you hear about original sin. But inside the Jewish community, we talk about our innate goodness. How it is that we were born, is we were born good. And yes, we do make mistakes. But we have to believe in our basic goodness, that all people, in fact, are created in God's image. And maybe that also will help us when it comes time to forgive others. If we can see it in ourselves, we should also be able to see it in others. Fourth, forgiveness frees us. I think we've all heard that uh, teaching that we don't want to give people that have harmed us space rent-free in our minds or in our souls. We can forgive. Fifth, before we can forgive others, we have to feel fully the injury that we've sustained. We have to give ourselves time to grieve, just like we do if we've lost a loved one. And then we can, I guess, after that period of mourning, find those next steps to take because we've been hurt. And lastly, forgiveness doesn't rewrite our history. Instead, it allows us to rewrite the story of our history. It shows our willingness to change. If there's anything about history, it is dynamic. Maybe we can see the world through a more positive lens. So I'm interested in your thoughts on this. Maybe you want to leave a uh, a comment or maybe you want to be in touch and we can continue this conversation. Of course, this is a conversation that takes us through this entire period. And while we're at it, let me wish you a good day and lots of blessings during this Elul.